Hi, this is Miss Wiles, and this is part three of Geometric Sequences. We're on number 10. We're going to write an equation for the nth term of the geometric sequence that is given here and find the sixth term of the sequence. Now, in this one, I'm going to find the equation, but I'm going to show you a different way to find the sixth term. We've used it before. Um, the equation for the nth term is a sub n equals the first term, which is 3,584 times the ratio. Now I need to stop and find that ratio. I will find that ratio by taking my calculator and doing the second term, which is 896, divided by the first term, which is 3,584, to find that my common ratio is 1 fourth. Now, it just so happens that the last couple of problems that we've done have the common ratio being a fraction, but don't get too familiar with that and think that that's going to happen all the time because we have two other instances in number 6 and number 8 where the common ratio was not a fraction. So the common ratio will not always be a fraction. And then we take that to the n minus 1 power. Now, because we know the common ratio is 1 fourth, we could, instead of using this formula, whether we use the formula, the equation, or whether we use what we know about geometric sequences, either way, I should get the same answer for the sixth term. For this one, I'm going to use the fact that I know that the third term is 224, and I'm going to multiply that by 1 fourth. That tells me that the fourth term is 56. And then if I multiply that by one-fourth again, then the fifth term is 14. And if I multiply that by one-fourth yet one more time, the sixth term is seven halves. A sub six equals seven over two. Now, will that work for the equation? It better, 3,584 times one-fourth raised to the, oh, I need my, raised to the six minus one power is also seven halves. You can choose to use the equation or use a logical progression multiplying by that common ratio to find the successive terms. Now let's move on to number 11. Number 11 says to find the sixth term of the geometric sequence for which a sub 2 equals 288 and r equals 1 fourth. Now I can, I look at this and I say, but I don't have the first term. I don't have the first term. And there was nothing, I can't multiply by the common ratio this 288 because if I do, that'll give me the third term, not the first term. If I want to find the first term, I have to do the inverse of this multiplication. Instead of multiplying by one-fourth, I would have to multiply this 288 by four. I would have to multiply by the inverse of the common ratio. So if I want to work it out that way, I would multiply the 288 by 4, which is the inverse of the 1 fourth, and find that the first term would be 288 times 4 instead of times 1 fourth. I would inverse that, and my first term would be 1,152. Then I can use the equation that A sub N, whatever that is, is 1,152 times 1 fourth to the n minus 1 power. So I can do that. But I can also do what I know about geometric sequences and say, okay, if I, I'm looking for the sixth term. So I can do 288 times 1 fourth. Whoop, y'all didn't tell me you couldn't see. Times 1 fourth. And that gives me which term? The 288 was the second term. So the third term is 72. The fourth term would be times one-fourth again. 
The fourth term 18. would be 18. The fifth term, whoop, go back, multiply that by, oh, I'm going to have to clear that. Multiply that by one-fourth. And the fifth term would be nine-halves. Multiply that by one-fourth. And my sixth term is nine-eighths. So you don't have to find an equation unless you're specifically told to. Use whatever you want to use to solve the problem. For number 12 and 13, I want you to give it your try, but I'm going to show you the answers because I want you to see um, what those answers are so you can verify whether you're doing those right. Um, the Maybe I'm not. Let me pause here and find that information for you. The answer to number 12, no matter how you go about doing it, should be 588,245. The answer to number 13, the answer to number 13, um, let me pause here because, well, I'm going to give you the equation um, to figure it out. A sub n equals 3 times 4 to the n minus 1 power. Because I looked at the sequence, I made the sequence. 3, whoop, here we go, you can't see. 3, 12, 48. Nope. Yeah, that's right. So from 3 to 4, the 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I know that the common ratio is 4. The first number was 3. So if I use that equation in my handy dandy calculator, I find that on the 8th day, our dear Thomas, who is saving his pennies, saved 49,152 pennies. And that is a lot of pennies. And, like, and that's all I have to say about that. Enjoy geometric sequences. And thank you very much for listening.